the Supreme Court came down like a ton of bricks today on the Delhi government, the Amadmi Party government, both in Delhi and of course in Punjab, saying that stubble burning is the problem that needs to be fixed right now. And that the Amadmi Party government, either in Delhi or in Punjab, cannot escape from this fundamental responsibility that it has towards the people of Delhi. The court also said it's patience, it's running things, and that the existing provisions of the law are enough to book those people who are indulging in stubble burning, which is contributing to a substantial degree uh, in pollution in the national capital. The Amadmi Party continues to insist it's not so much Punjab that's the culprit this time around, it's Haryana and Uttar Pradesh, but the court would hear none of it. The question, and this is the bottom line, how long are we going to get caught in this political blame game? Because at the un end of the day, the people of Delhi have voted for a government and it's the job of that government to fix that problem. That is the opinion of the Supreme Court as well. But first, the story so far. This is the Kartavya path and in fact you can get an idea of the visibility that Rashtrapati Bhavan, which in general days is visible from this particular spot, is invisible today. केजरीवाल जी से कहूंगा कि इस पर राजनीतिक लोटंकी जो करना है वो नहीं होनी चाहिए आप वो राजनीतिक लोटंकी में बड़े माहिर हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट का ऑर्डर आने के बाद एक बार हम उसको स्टडी करेंगे या जो जो ऑर्डर में सुप्रीम कोर्ट का निर्देश आएगा उसको फिर इनकॉर्पोरेट करते हुए उसके अनुसार हम अपनी योजना को बनाएंगे All right, I want to first bring you up to speed with what the Supreme Court's scathing observations were today. Remember, I told you at the top, it pulled up uh, the Delhi government, the Punjab government, the Haryana and Uttar Pradesh governments, as well as Rajasthan, saying it's their job to fix the pollution problem as far as the national capital is concerned. Also, the court was very clear in its opinion today that stubble burning is a major factor behind pollution in Delhi at this time of the year. The court also went on to say that Punjab, Haryana farm fires are solid reasons behind the Delhi pollution spike that we see every year at this time of the year in the last two weeks of October, the first couple of weeks of November. The court also went on to say, your job is to stop stubble burning, take immediate action. Farm fires cannot be a political battle all the time and that's what's been happening between the Amadmi Party and the BJP. One blaming the other, the other shifts the blame back. The Delhi government must act swiftly to fix smog towers. Remember, there was a smog tower inaugurated a few years ago at the cost of 20 odd crore rupees. Uh, right in the heart of the capital, that's not functioning right now. The Delhi government must not allow the open burning of solid waste. That's also what the court has opined today. The Delhi government's odd-even scheme, which is set to introduce the day after Diwali from Monday next, that is simply optics, is how the Supreme Court has characterized this. Now, the Amadmi Party keeps pointing its fingers again and again. Uh, first it was Punjab before they came to power in Punjab and now they're pointing fingers at Haryana and Uttar Pradesh when it comes to stubble burning. But the fact of the matter is the real culprit and the big culprit is the state of Punjab. And here are how the numbers stack up as far as uh, the various states are concerned. Uh, November 1st, Haryana had 99 farm fires. Punjab had almost 2,000. On the 2nd of November, Haryana had 48, Punjab had 1600. It came down to 1500 and 1300. But look at November the 5th, 3,230 fires in Punjab, 
just 109 fires in Haryana. So this apples to apples comparison is not quite fitting because the Amadmi Party says that Haryana and UP and other states are responsible, not so much Punjab. 3,230, by the way, is the highest single day incidence of the number of farm fires. No state has ever managed to top that. Now, if we go deeper uh, into Punjab itself and which are the districts uh, that are most notorious for stubble burning, again, you will see a pattern here. You will see something that stands out. Remember, there have been over 17,000 fires since the last uh, couple of weeks of October, this season, this stubble burning season in Punjab. And if you look at the district which has the maximum number, Sangrur, which is the chief minister's home district, Bhagwan Man, hails from Sangrur, 2,698, almost 2,700 incidents out of that 17,000 have happened in the chief minister's home district. Then there is Firozpur at 1,800 plus. There's Tarantaran at 1,762. Amritsar at 1,432. Patiala and Mansa at about 1,200 or so. So, the question is, where is the political will? If in the chief minister's constituency, there's almost 2,700 farm fires in the last uh, month or so, then where is the political accountability for that? Delhi's pollution crisis uh, is making waves not just in the country but in the West as well. Climate activists are using Delhi's example for major cuts in carbon emissions. British climate activist Robin Boardman has tweeted and this is part of our Motorola India's best 5G smartphone brands tweet of the day. Hello Moto. This is what Boardman has said and I'm uh, uh, quoting from the tweet. Uh, 33 million are choking in India. Air pollution kills 8 million people annually. In Delhi, it has shortened lives by an average of 10 years. Across the world, it has shortened life uh, by an average of a year. When will the smoke stop? When will we rise up against fossil fuels? Now, that takes us to our big debate tonight on brass tacks, and that is, can the Aam Aadmi Party, despite what the Supreme Court had to say today, the abject censure of the Aam Aadmi Party and its government in Delhi, can it still continue to shift the blame? Hello, Moto. All right, joining us uh, this evening on the Talking Point, Shazia Elmi is national spokesperson of the BJP. Abhinandita Mathur is spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party. Dr. Bharat Gopal is director and head of Department of Pulmonology at the Delhi Heart and Lung Institute. And Vikas Singh is a senior advocate of the Supreme Court. He, in fact, appeared in the case today on behalf of the petitioners. But let me start with you, Abhinandita Mathur. Uh, you know, this is not, you know, a political party or a political rival saying this. No less than the Supreme Court of India today has come down on your government saying it is your job to fix this double burning problem and you have to do it now and it can't be a political blame game all the time. What is your response to the Supreme Court and also to the people of Delhi who are asking you those very same questions that the Supreme Court today asked of you? Thanks, Dr. Uh, first of all, I'd like to, you know, acknowledge that any pollution, any, any harm that has been caused, uh, you know, we take our side of the responsibility. We are committed to working uh, to reduce pollution. And there is, and I'm saying, I'm going to speak with a lot of uh, sincerity and humility. So I, I will not do politicking. Uh, but having said that, uh, it is important to understand that this is not just a Delhi problem or a Punjab problem. This is a North India problem. And I think any environmental expert would also tell us that. It's not about... You know, uh, it's not about shifting blame to anybody else. But the fact is that we have to look at how all the governments, whether it is the government of Delhi, Punjab, uh, Haryana, UP, and the central government, what is it that they have done in this time that has resulted in, uh, you know, where we are today. And it's not a matter of one year, two years. That, you know, we have unfortunately reached this situation. I am reporting to you that we have worked day and night in Punjab to reduce the farm fires by 50 to 60 percent this year and I can assure you that we are on it and we will make sure that some of these problems that are very deeply rooted in the cultural in the agricultural practices you know, at least from our side, we will make sure that no, no, we provide Abhinandita, the alternative the problem is, to the farmer. The problem is, you know, when you say that farm fires in Punjab have come down, 
there's also a bit of disingenuity there because this year what has happened is because of the delayed rains, the sowing season has been delayed and therefore the stubble burning has been delayed. So what normally used to happen in the last two weeks of October, that's now shifted to the first two weeks of November. So now is when you're going to see much more farm fires. As I, sh as I showed in that graphic before we came to this discussion, 3,200 yes. plus fires happened on a single day. Uh, on Sunday. That's the highest for a single day number of incidents of farm yeah, fires. Know, we, so clearly, you know, you're shifting the goalpost by saying, oh, oh you've done everything you can, 50% come down. No, it will not be 50% come down uh, by the end of this, uh, by the end of this uh, Parali burning season. Not at all, actually. I'm not saying, at, I'm not shifting the blame at all. In fact, I'm starting out by saying that we do take our share of you know the responsibility and we'll tell you the steps that we have taken and that we want to take these these we need short-term and long-term measures to resolve this please understand and whether it is the short-term measures or the long-term measures at least we have something to tell the people what we have done can you tell me can you ask the bjp spokesperson what haryana has done or what up has done look farm fire parali burning is a is a very deep-rooted agricultural agricultural problem and we are taking along the farmers, you know, we are trying to provide an alternative. Unlike, let's say, Haryana, you know, who are uh, filing FIRs against the farmers. Can I? But you know, uh, by, by the way, the law in Punjab, the there, is, there is a law in Punjab, and, and, and this is preceding the Amadmi Party's time there. When Amrinder Singh was in power, he brought this law, 5,000 rupees fine and simple jail term for any farmer who's found stubble burning. Nobody implements that because there's a simple reason in this country nobody wants to touch the farmers. The farmers are a vote bank. That's, that's, whether it's for the BJP or the Amadmi Party or the Congress or any other party, Akali Dal, that's the simple reality. Whereas Delhiites breathing toxic air are not a vote bank. It's a two, three, four week problem. And Delhiites will forget about it, and so will the Amadmi Party. There's no political cost to pay. That's the reality. But let me ask Shazia Ilmi uh, to to respond to what uh, the Amadmi Party has been saying. That while they are trying to fix Punjab, what are you doing in Haryana? What are you doing in Uttar Pradesh? Your party is in power in those states, and those states also have farm fires, not to the extent that Punjab has, but certainly they do have farm fires. Yeah. So if you were to look at figures, it would be three percent of the fires in Punjab that would attribute to Haryana. So 3% is a number, uh, is a percentage of Haryana farm fires compared to the bigger number. But let's not even go there. Now, this is classic Aam Aadmi Party playbook. When you found absconding, uh, not responding, ineffective, completely useless, at the wrong side of administration and governance, or implementation of basic schemes, what do you do? You make it into an ugly political slugfest. I want to tell everybody, this well, is beyond very politics. Rich coming this is the about BJP public health. Person. No, no, one, one, one second, one second. I mean, no, one second, one at a time. Let, let Shazia speak. Yeah, thank you. Yes. So I did not. So this is classic Aam Aadmi Party. On every issue, this is what they say. But others are doing it. This is exactly what the Supreme Court clarified and specified today. That, listen, this is the same party in power, both the places. Not just that, something that people are not mentioning. Now, but even the MCD in Delhi, which used to be responsible for water sprinklers and other things, is, is, is also in under Ahmadi Party's jurisdiction and it is under their control. So I don't see any reason why it should be about a conflation of issues. So it can it'll become about vehicular pollution, it'll become about construction. This is a there's a cause and there's an effect. What is the cause? Everybody knows it is the Parali, uh, the stubble burning that is happening. So let's just address that, which is exactly what Supreme Court has said. And not just that, Bhagwan Man's own constituency, as somebody pointed out, in Sangrur, is burning right now. Arvind Kejriwal and Bhagwan Man are roaming around all over the countryside for political tourism and trying to get votes. I think it's highly unethical, ineffective, and, and rich of the, of the Environment Minister Gopal Rai to say, oh, now that we have Supreme Court has said that, we will study it. Is there any time to study? Is it a shameful? There's something we should have been prepared for. And we okay. should, because that, this is something that afflicts that us. Is this is ninth year running. That instead of this work being done three months earlier, Shadiyaji, it is being I done can, today. I, can, I mean, it is so shockingly, shockingly pathetic and things. irresponsible. And they are no, no. just useless. Look, I, I, think, I think it's, it's, it's high time. It's well. high time. Once again, I mean, the one second, one second, please. I think it's high time 
that the people of Delhi who voted for the Aam Aadmi Party, they voted your party in power, Abhinandita, and this is a perennial issue. It's not a one-year problem. This has been happening ever since you came to power for the last nine years. The point is you need to fix it. You can't say UP is doing this and Haryana is doing this. Suddenly what and is Delhi's problem has become a North India problem. No, come on. You know, accept, accept some responsibility and do something about it. Even the Supreme Court is asking you to do something about it. Let me... 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds. That was 10 seconds. I just, I want to say something that, you know, if, if this was a matter, if the center was responsible or Haryana was responsible or Rajasthan was responsible, then tell me why did Arvind Kejriwal promise this and uh, that he would make it better and not just that, blame Captain Amrinder when he was in power. Yeah. If it was not in his control, then why blame Captain Amrinder before you fight elections? No, Once absolutely. Once you come to power, when, you start, when you were campaigning in Punjab, you said, we will stop in Punjab, we will stop in a month, we will stop in a You haven't done that. You are in power in Punjab for over a year now. Vikas Singh is a senior advocate in the Supreme Court. In fact, he appeared in the court today. He was the arguing counsel on behalf of the petitioner. So I want to ask you, Vikas Singh, the court came down very heavily on the Aam Aadmi Party government, both in Delhi as well as in Punjab, saying it's your job to fix this double-burning problem. It can't be a political blame game all the time. And it's your responsibility to do so. Uh, and the time to do that is now, not, you know, next month or the month after that. Tell us, though, the context in which the Supreme Court made these observations today. It was so incensed, seemingly, at least for us, you know, reading copies about what happened in court today. It was so angry that it said... You are elected to do this job and you have to do this job now. You were in court. Tell us why the court said what it did today. Stubble burning has become a big problem in Delhi for the last about five, seven years. And Supreme Court had the occasion to deal with this issue in 1819 and again in 2021. 1819, uh, a statement was made that uh, we are going to do something very fast and uh, this will not happen in the next year, next year, etc. And the high part committee meeting, etc. was uh, directed to be held. When nothing happened, another petition was filed in 19, 2020, when the Supreme Court was so upset that it appointed Justice Madan Lokul, if you remember, uh, to be a one-man commission to say to see oversee that there is no stubble burning but the government was not happy with his appointment so they immediately came out with a new law which is to um, um, control the um, uh, air pollution in the ncr region and they said that we are bringing out a new law and we are uh, creating a, a, a statutory institution which will look, in, look into all these affairs and accordingly, um, Justice Lokur uh, may be not asked to start this work. They have a GRAP 1, GRAP 2, GRAP 3, GRAP 4. Today we are on GRAP 4. So they have the highest uh, forms of uh, restrictions imposed now. But in none of these GRAP, there is any mention of stubble burning or any effort to even discuss or you know uh, uh, resolve this stubble burning issue. They have full authority to issue whatever direction they ca can under Section 12 to the neighboring states also to ensure that Delhi doesn't get polluted. But they have done nothing for these last uh, three years okay. in these various GRAP meetings or these uh, statutory meetings that they've held. So that was very upsetting for the Supreme Court to... Mm to see the act and once they saw that they have all the powers and still nothing is being done. So that is why they said that now we have to step in and that is why I insisted that it should be bad today, right now, because, uh, you know, farmers' problem can't overtake the lives of millions of people living in Delhi. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll come to that point. I think it's a very valid point you're making about Section 12 within GRAP, which allows uh, powers, express powers to the Delhi government to issue instructions to neighboring states in case uh, the pollution gets so bad that it's threatening the people of Delhi. But let me, let me get Dr. Bharat Gopal also into this conversation because, you know, I'm sure, doctor, this is something that you contend with every time, you know, this time of the year between sort of mid-October to mid-November, uh, just, you know, a few weeks on either side of Diwali. Uh, what, are, what are the sort of cases that you're now dealing with? What do you tell these people? Because I'm sure many of these patients that you're seeing are also repeat patients. They come to you every year at this time. So it must be frustrating also for them, as, as it is, must be for you, I'm sure, to deal with the same recurring problem every year uh, for the last good 10 years or so now. Yeah. Uh, thank you for making me part of the show. And I think the few points which you have raised. A, I think, like you said, 10 years, the first show probably I remember it, it was 2005. 
so it's yeah. been quite a while since we have been discussing and with all due regards to all my politician friends i think we have been as stakeholders probably some way we all have heard the civic society has heard and the politicians have heard likewise they are representatives of our society only uh like you said it's actually quite disheartening not only to find those repeat patients every year but the new patients which are coming in and these newer patients tend to be younger every year so i think if you mark those words what we are getting are new people who are coming into the opds with some sort of respiratory problems and unfortunately earlier it used to be we used to talk about extremes of age very young children very old people people with comorbidities now for last few years uh, say it may be 2019 leave apart those covid years and last year and now this year there has been a tremendous uh, number of younger people who are coming who are probably exposed most to the pollutions because they are outdoors so yeah. they have been coming in with lot of coughs which are unrelenting and continuous despite your usual methods so if you ask me what can i advise people i think the best is to stay indoors which is a very bad advice actually because that means the the we are now exposed to that level of air quality where we have to probably go down into a state of lockdown like we went for covid yep. which we we knew that could kill so we are almost equating air pollution to that type of level you gave those figures of uh, people actually losing years of life not only in india globally Correct. but we are a case in point where probably southeast asia has the most burden of air pollution and uh, there are statistics showing even 5 to 10 years of life loss uh, on an average life expectancy so that is quite quite disheartening I mean, a, it's a real a shame if if people are losing five to ten years of their lives because of this pollution problem, and it's an easily fixable problem. It's not like this is an intractable, unfixable problem. It's a, an yeah, easily absolutely. fixable problem. So, and, uh, and Zakat, there, yeah. there are just there sure. are models across the globe which were very polluted, and which have actually overcome with yeah. good stakeholder participation across all boards. Yeah, so I think it is not something which cannot be done. and this is what we all are saying for last 10 years but we stand here discussing that again so i hope you know the the us ambassador mentioned this in one of the speeches a few days ago where he said he grew up in los angeles in the 50s and 60s yeah. and la used to be a very polluted city they fixed that problem london used to be a very polluted city in the 50s very bad. they they fixed that uh, i used to live in beijing 10 15 years ago when it was a very yeah, polluted so city know. they have fixed, fixed that problem as well so it's not a it's not an unfixable problem mm -hmm. but abhinandan tamathur you know let's leave the the politics aside what vikas singh said and what the doctor said and i think i think what the doctor said has you know should really ring through home earlier there used to be a time when people who had respiratory trouble who had a history of you know uh, respiratory issues they were the ones who were most vulnerable you know young people uh, as in like younger children or or elderly who were coming now young people healthy people in their 20s and 30s are increasingly coming to doctors like dr gopal because they are the ones who are exposed to this air i mean don't you oh the young people of delhi the young people of the national capital as to why you are not able to fix this problem i mean if people are losing on average 5 to 10 years of their life that's a matter of utter shame and frankly that's on your hands as well abhinandita you you have to unmute you you've gone silent sorry i have to i have to just repeat one point so that we are not running away from our side of um, our part of the responsibility like give me a one moment to hear me out patient here there are many things that contribute to the to the pollution in the ncr in uh, ncr and north indian region at this time it is specifically hazardous toxic you know unacceptable and it is caused by the farm fire but it's important to understand that there are steps that are being taken perhaps punjab government is the only government that has managed to reduce it by 50% please understand this i am not saying that anybody in north india deserves to breathe this out of the 50 top most polluted towns 20 are in haryana please understand that just by blaming the aam aadmi party will not actually solve the problem if we are serious about solving the problem if that is your intent even in this show then let's you know look at look at in a constructive way look at what the other states are doing or what other countries are doing i'm i'm not for example you know 
so much huha about the smoke tower do you know that there were two smoke towers one was made by the delhi government and the other was by the central government which they were boasting about and both have been shut randomly by an officer who reports to the lg so one whatever you know the the political narrative that is reaching the people it is selective having said that no, no, uh, Abhinandita, let's, 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 let's,
do not want to do it because the farmers are a big vote bank. Whereas Delhiites, bad air for two or three weeks, that's okay. That's a problem everybody can deal with. I mean, they themselves will forget about it after those three or four weeks. I would, you know, guess that would be the real reason because ultimately, uh, I don't see why they will allow people of Delhi to suffer like this, where, you know, children are suffering, schools have to be closed and work from home is being encouraged, online work is being encouraged. All, the, all this can't be done, um, you know, without there being some very strong reason for them to not do what they're supposed to do. Either we, either we say that they don't understand what is to be done or they don't know what is to be done which is a too far fetch it to you know accept that they really don't know the real problem so everybody knows the problem it's just that uh, they feel that stubble burning is an issue for 10 15 days in fact today incidentally when the matter was called out i was told there is a letter circulated by the government they wanted an adjournment so one week adjournment here or then we get into the whole the diwali holidays and it goes after diwali and then the weather improves the aqi yeah. comes better and this uh, issue is forgotten then again next year the same whole rigmarole will start and same uh, problem will start for Delhi. So the effort is somehow to pa pass these 10, 15 days uh, with the suffering, regardless of uh, what, uh, you know, huge impact is it has on the health of the people of this city. And, um, you know, so it's a little insensitive in many ways, I would say, because you have to also look at the uh, human angle in such a health. Health has always been considered to be a top priority for any government and if they still want to you know expose the citizens of delhi just because uh, farmers is a vote bank i think it's a it's a very sorry state of affairs that, that, that's really sad isn't it i mean the amadmi party prides itself in health and education being the two areas where where it's really you know amped its game up and that's that's the reason why they've been voted back to power and so on but if pollution is not a health issue i don't know what a health issue is dr gopal i'll give you the final word you know, you, you mentioned earlier that perhaps the only solution is to, to do like a lockdown that we saw during COVID. Do we have to go to that extreme, you know, shut down Delhi for, for a period of a month or three weeks or whatever, how long this pollution problem exists? Because again, we're going to have Diwali. I don't think there's going to be any less uh, crackers being burst this time. Uh, the farm fires are going to continue. Like I said, the sowing season has changed. Therefore, the stubble burning season has changed. So I really don't see any hope, even odd even that they're implementing. I mean, the pollution problem is now or even is going to start from the day after Diwali. I mean, what is the logic? What is the logic of that? So, so uh, I think uh, uh, I don't want to be misquoted. What I said, that if you ask me, what is the solution that we don't get exposed, that is that we stay indoors, right? Yeah. But obviously, lockdown will not be a solution. We know what we what the whole world went through during COVID. That was the, the actual lockdown which occurred. I think it's sad that we uh, we speak like this because uh, as a lot of us have discussed in the last half an hour is that we need to find a permanent solution. All these things which we do, we start when we start seeing this darkness in the the uh, atmosphere. I'll beg to differ with the uh, with the uh, Miss Mathur because she said we have good air quality days. Yes, definitely, because we are comparing with 400, 500 AQI. Do you know what are the good quality air days which we, when we follow up the AQI, that is like 150, 200. Now, what is, what we, what do we need as a human being, as per WHO? Best is less than 10 or at least less than 25. So, it is not that they have dramatically changed. We are a landlocked city. Delhi NCR will have this geographical issues always. So the decisions which we'll have to take would have to be a lot of stakeholders looking at engineering things, stubble farming, vehicular construction, all those need to be pitched in. There right. cannot be one solution to prevention of pollution. That's what I believe all last 10 years. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much to all our guests. Uh, like I said, even as, as a television anchor, I mean, I've been doing this uh, same topic at the same time of the year for at least the last 10 years. And sadly, you know, one would hope that at least next year you don't have to do it. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to bet on not being able to do one of these shows next year because I don't think this problem is going to fix, get fixed next year either.